Hello, good evening, Heidi. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. How about you? I'm doing great. I'm just coming back to work. How was your day today? Uh, it was quite calm day. Like? Very calm. Very calm. It was very mm -hmm. calm. Okay. Good. Oh my God. No, this is a, it's not a good t shirt to teach. Uh, da, 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 da. What do we do? What do we do? Let's try to blur. It's going to work for today. Okay. Get, let's wait a few minutes for your classmates. Meanwhile, remember you have to start the class having a conversation with a classmate. Break the ice. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Okay, everybody, let's break the ice. Remember, we're starting the class. Good evening, teacher and class. Not me. Say hello to a classmate. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, Heidi. Hello. Hello, Andres. How are you? Hi, thank you. How was your day? It, it was good. And you? It was very calm day. Okay. Not too busy? Not too busy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm just giving you time for you to speak to a classmate, say hello, ask any questions, you know, how they feel about the yeah. course, how they feel about their life, what do they do, find yeah. out. I would like to know if Ada Susena had surgery today. Hello, good evening. Hello, Heidi. Hello, how are you? And <laughs> more or less, it's a uh, uh, one cirurgies per day, and, and a lot of the patients and review the expedient, and only that. <laughs> really, no surgeries? Mm, only one cirurgies per day. And tomorrow I three. I have three. Three, three. I the have. programmation. The I have three, and the programmation in the Seguro Social. And for the moment. <laughs> for now, for now. For now. Okay, so, so for now, I have three scheduled, three scheduled surgeries. Okay. Mm hmm. And you, Heidi? It was a very calm day. It was okay. very, very calm. Not too busy. Hello, Johnny. How are you? <laughs> fine. <laughs> and you? <laughs> hey, fine. And your concentration in the in the in the in the computer? No, on the TV. In <laughs> 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 both, in both. <laughs> Focus on both, both. Okay, 
Good job. Okay. What are you watching? What are you what are you watching, Johnny? <laughs> Take a chat, teacher. Come on, I got you. I got you. I've got you, Johnny. Good job. Okay, guys. Uh, one piece. <laughs> You're watching One Piece, really? <laughs> On Netflix? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I'll have to I, I'll have to install Netflix again. I was watching One Piece, but I think we left it on chapter one seventy six. I can remember. So we'll we'll see. Okay, so let's start checking the attendance, guys. Um, Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Good. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Erwin, I'm sorry, Irwin Lagos Andrade. Erwin is not here yet. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero Present Thank you Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel okay. William Alexander Ramírez Flores Present Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Okay, so where were we? Where were we? Who can tell me what was the last topic we covered yesterday? I would rather. I'm a layers, thank you. I would rather what? Oh, teacher, you didn't share what you said. Oh, how do you call it? Conversation starters. That's not it. I have a website. It helps um, you to improve your English. There it is. Okay. Okay, it's called conversationstarters.com. Conversationstarters.com. Okay, it's taking here. There it is. Okay, so this is a generator. 
and it's going to help you a lot to improve at this point, at this level, you can talk about any topic, okay? It's on your WhatsApp. Unfortunately, I cannot show you that, but I will. I will just project this right, really quick so you can see it. But for copyrights, I couldn't. So if you look at the bottom, so here you have how to start a conversation, just any question. Who's your favorite actor or actress? Alan, who's your favorite actor or actress? Mm, I have a lot. I have a, I have a lot. Uh, of course, uh, um, uh, Scarlett Johansson, for example. Really? Okay, but physically, but I mean, <laughs> in performance, <laughs> Black Widow, okay. Okay, and so on. Look, then you click generate another random topic. What's the longest you've gone without showering? What's the longest you've gone without showering? <laughs> In other words, how long have you spent without taking a shower? Oh my God, uh, William. <laughs> Yep. What's the longest you've gone without showering? Um, How long have you been without taking a shower? How many days? Uh, just one day. Just one day? <sighs> really? <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Heidi, what's something that makes you smile? What's something that makes you smile? Mm, the laughter I'm with my kids. Laughing with your kids? Their laughter. Oh, their laughter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some kids are laugh. The laughter is very funny. Okay. What are some things you shouldn't say at work? What are some things you shouldn't say at work, Alexander? Mm -hmm. I think we lost him. Uh, Fernando, what are some things you shouldn't say at work? Uh, maybe I can I can do that. <laughs> I have to do. What do you mean? Oh, you you cannot say I can't. Yes. I can't do that. I have to do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Andres, who is the most famous person? you've met? Who's the most famous person you've met? No, I didn't. I haven't. Met a famous person. I haven't. I haven't met. met. Perfect. Per met. Present, present perfect. I haven't met a famous person. Enough. Now, this is what I want you to see. You see, would you rather questions? Now you can watch this video, it's really funny. Would you rather lick a toilet seat or lick a garbage can? Which is what, what I asked you yesterday. And here you have a link. Would you rather physical be really hairy? Would you re would you rather be really hairy or be completely bald? Would you be really hairy or be completely bald? Really hairy. Yeah, really hairy, okay. Will you be four feet five or be seven feet seven? Four feet five is like 150 or mm -hmm. one, 130, 140 and in, in meters and seven, seven, oh my God, that's like almost three meters. Mm -hmm. Better be tall. Be seven seven. Would you rather be seven seven? Man, that, yeah, of course. <laughs> but a... yeah, you will have a lot of back issues, you know. But <laughs> okay, Ada, would you rather be blind or be deaf? Would you rather mm. be blind or be deaf? What? Blind. What? Blind. Yes. R really. Yes, that's a that's a difficult question. It's a very <laughs> difficult question. Haiti, would you be ready? Would you rather be tall or fat and fat or short and well built? 
Short and well built. Short and well built. Okay. <laughs> I will say tall and fat because if you're tall and fat, you can get underweight, you know, do something. But if you're short, you're short. <laughs> you, cannot, you cannot grow any longer. Okay. I'll be healthier. You will be healthier. Yeah. Okay. So you see, there's a lot of questions. You, you have money, job related. There, there's an interesting question here. Uh, Miguel, would you be, would you rather be, would you rather be poor, poor and work at a job you love or be rich and work at a job you hate? Be rich. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a job you hate. Okay. Irene, would you rather be rich and ugly or be poor and good looking? I prefer, I would I prefer, rather I would rather be poor and good looking. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You see? Okay, so you, you can use all of these questions. Hard, <laughs> difficult. These are difficult questions. Let's see, Jose Antonio, would you rather be in constant pain or have a constant itch? What is an itch, guys? Picasso, right? Itch. So would you be would you rather be in constant pain or have a constant itch? Constant each. Constant. A constant each. Man, each. that's difficult. Okay, jury. Jury, would you rather be blind or not be able to talk for the rest of your life? That is really difficult <laughs> selection. <laughs> Uh, maybe <laughs> blind. Blind, really? Okay, no, guys. I would rather not be able to talk for the rest of my life. I mean, be able be able to listen and see. I think is more important than talking. I don't I agree know. With you. I agree with you. You totally. agree, right? Mm -hmm. yes. oh. oh my God! And regarding COVID. Let me see. Um, Jose Alberto, would you rather have no sense of smell or smell everything near you as though it were right in front of your nose? As though it were right in front of your nose. I rather smell everything near me. The uh -huh. is all right from uh, my nose. So that's like having a super smell sense. Yeah. Okay. So these are hard ones. Then you have sacrifice. Oh my God. Sacrifice. Suleyma, would you rather go without the internet for a month or go without access to a car for a month? I think I would rather without access to a car. For a month. Okay. Yeah. Luis Ernesto, would you rather sit all day or stand all day? Your microphone. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> I would rather stand all day. I would rather stand all day. You got it. Relationships, be a parent or be a child, dump someone else or be the person getting dumped. Uh, now, this, this, this other section is gross, gross, okay? And it's, it's funny, but I am not going to show you that. Hmm. Look at this section. Hmm. Be the first to finish your meal or be the last one to finish your meal, and so on. You have a lot of sections, fun. Only be able to type three words per minute or only be able to read 10 words per minute, okay? And so on. 
miss miscellaneous miss miscellaneous so i send you the link uh again you can watch the video it's funny as well and icebreaker conversations we're gonna start using this to create questions so i encourage you right now let's use that link go to the random questions okay go to the random questions and in groups select one question for everybody to answer it then you change the question and everybody has to give one answer really quick okay just jump through the questions if you feel that is too difficult okay change the question agree agree to change the question got it let's have a conversation that's going to be really fun and it's going to allow you to talk about different topics okay we have nine minutes for this activity so take advantage of the time okay let's go no proyectan el, la pantalla okay no proyectan el sitio web please Alexander, Miguel, let's go. We don't have to share the screen, right? No. Anyways, I just disabled, I disabled the option, don't worry. Okay, so I just have some minutes that I joined to the, to the class. So I don't know if somebody can start or tell me what, what we have to do. There's a link on your WhatsApp. It's just to select okay. a conversation, a question to start the conversation. In the auction, generate another random topic. Uh-huh. Correct. Okay. I'll go first. Uh, would you rather receive one really nice gift or receive many small gifts? Repeat it, please. Okay. Would you rather um, receive one one really nice gift or receive many a small gift? I would rather a really nice gift. Okay, Carolina. I'm not sure. I would rather receive. Um. Uh, a really nice gift. Teacher, we, we can't share this screen. No, you don't need to. Okay, the other one is to would you rather, rather eat chips or eat candy? I would rather eat chips. What? In my in my opinion, I would I I, I would rather eat only fruit for a week because it's healthy for our for our if 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 we need lost weight. I think that it's convenient to eat only fruit for a week. Some peop some persons, when they are looking for a, for a gal, I don't know how can I say cuando hacen ayunos, some, some of them, uh, they eat only fruits for, for a week. Okay. Okay, I have a question. Would you rather 
be the first to die among your close friends or be the last one to die and not make any new friends? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's a difficult question. Can you repeat, please? Uh, would you rather be the first to die among your close friends or be the last one to die and not make any new friends? Mm. That's a cruel question. <laughs> yeah. Oh I don't know. It is a difficult decision. Yeah. It is a difficult decision. It is a difficult decision, yeah. Um, so, uh, the first option. The first option. Yes. Okay. And what about you? Yuri. Um, let me see. Uh, be your pants and public is really, really <laughs> embarrassing situation. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Am I in your work? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe the first one. The first one. Drink a cup of spoiled milk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Well, I don't I don't think that it's a good idea to drink spoiled milk, but I prefer pee my pants in public. Maybe it will be a um a trend in fashion in the future. I don't know. And what about you, Andres? <clears throat> milk or um, shame? Pee my pants, I think. I prefer be on shame than get sick. Yes. Okay. Uh, anyone have the the web page open or choose another one? Choose another one. Please. Choose another one. Hard or okay. This one is that sounds good. Uh, be ugly and marry a good-looking person. Or be good looking and marry an, 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 an ugly person. Can you repeat? Be ugly and marry a good looking person. Or uh -huh. be handsome, be good looking, and marry with an ugly person. <laughs> the second. <laughs> the second. Oh yeah. my God. People are very big. Okay. And Yuri? Um, maybe the first one. The first one? The first mm -hmm. one? Mm -hmm. I, I agree with you. I prefer to show her that, hey, you know, ugly, but I have my, my characteristic. <laughs> and your case? Andres? Andres? The first one too. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, let me see. Sounds okay. This is easy. What would you like or what would you prefer? Dump someone else or be the person getting dumped? Please. please. I prefer <laughs> dump than getting getting be dumped. Lima, tell us. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> mm. The first. Ah, you the are first one. a mean person. <laughs> I hope that you will be a nice, but you are mean. <laughs> okay. You are kidding. So yeah. <laughs> Well, it's like, so, it's like it's like when you are trading. Yeah, it's something like that. <laughs> You're playing with with the heart. It's not easy. Okay, who's not Andres? Uh, no. Yes, uh, first one too. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, let's continue. Um, <clears throat> what is your favorite candy? Candy. Candy? Um, I don't like candy. Me I neither. prefer chocolate. Me too. Yeah, chocolate. Chocolate too. Uh, I, I don't like, uh, I can say I love uh, candies. No, I, I, I don't, I don't like. Okay. Uh, continue. Um, uh, do you like to plan things or, or be spontaneous? You, you prefer a plan thing? Oh, no, it's a spontaneous. I like it. Depends, depends I like on, planning, mm, planning. depending, depends on. Yeah, the, depend on the situation of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Uh, for example, when, when I go out with my family, it's necessary uh, plan because, uh, is so complicated uh coordinate all the family to coordinate so complicated so complicated it's a complicated work. yeah court with uh, the family um but uh, when i going out with my wife uh, uh i like a sponta to a spontaneous to be spontaneous to be spontaneous it's, it's spontaneous yeah Okay, next question. Okay. Ah, yes. Okay. All the branches was closed. Oh. All the yeah, branches the were closed. It's a new. It's a new. What? What are we talking about? What would you read it? What would you read it? Premium Center or uh, <laughs> Genesis Mall? In the center. Oh, would you rather <laughs> go? Would you rather go to? Uh huh. Would you rather go to Hennessy's or shopping mall, shopping center? Shopping, shopping, shopping center. center. Uh -huh. I would rather go to the shopping center. To the shopping center. Okay. Excellent. You can use the question generator too. Did you? Yes, it's very nice. I was, I was yeah. using it. Yeah, it's nice, right? I mean, with this thing, you can keep talking and talking yeah. and talking about any topic, talking, yeah. any grammar tense. Yeah, yes, I, I, I will, I will, um, I don't know, research something there, practice and improve. That's right. It's very interesting. That's very interesting. That's right. Okay, let's go. Okay. We have a topic to cover. Okay, this upcoming topic seems to be very easy, right? Countable and uncountable nouns. Sounds like fun, like a joke for intermediate three to talk about countable and uncountables, but you're still, some of you are still struggling. Listen, some of you are still struggling with this topic you're struggling with this topic so please pay attention let's remember for the ones that already know so we have countable nouns funny? countable nouns help me johnny 
What is struggling? Stro uh, no, go ahead. Read, please. Jenny, countable nouns. Oh, okay. Countable nouns. Countable nouns are nouns which we can count. They have a singular and plural form. Example. Um, Bristol, or how you pronounce that? Bristol, yeah, Bristol. you got it. Bristol or uh, Bristol. Uh, the plural will be Bristol. Bristols. Bristol. Bristols. You got okay. it. And what are this, these? What are those? Um, these are cerdas. Cerdas de un cepillo. Okay. Keep going. Oh. Okay. I just want to speed beer. it up. Okay. Uh huh. Beaver, beaver, beaver. Beaver, beavers. That's right. That's an animal, beavers, right? Beavers. Yeah. Beavers, beavers. It's an animal. Can somebody, can somebody, I'm sorry to stop you, Yanni. Can somebody define beaver? Okay. Define. Okay. Ah, come on. Yeah, thank you. Because Yeah, it's a sort of animal that builds uh, represses right in the rivers. Okay, next, Johnny. El, um, elks. Elks. Okay. Elks. You have never seen an elk. You've never seen an elk. You've never seen elks. This is like moose. M O O S E moose with large horn with large horns. That's right. Okay, Jenny, keep going. Okay, dress and dresses, dresses. Okay, dress and dresses. And last, apple in apples, apple apples. So these are countables, right? You have the ability to. Uh, Pluralize them. You can pluralize these nouns. Okay. What are uncountables? Thank you, Jenny. Ada, would you? Uncountable nouns. They don't have different plural forms. They don't. They don't go with a um, a one two and so so on. Okay. One more time. They don't go with a an. One, mm -hmm. two, and so on. And so on. What's so the meaning? Long. And so on. What's the meaning of so on, guys? And so on. Continue. Go on. Continue. Um, yeah, and yes, yes, see, no, yes, yeah, see. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, so, uh, one, two, yes, yeah, see. Continue, Ada. They can be, they can be used alone or white song a much. Etc. This include many types of food and two liquid, three material, four abstract norms, and some other norms. Thank you, Lita. Yeah, they can be used alone or with the following quantifiers. These are quantifiers. Ah, uh, and one, two. They are called articles sometimes as well. Alone, some, any much okay you cannot say okay you cannot say for example a yogurt or can you can you say a yogurt no it's no not. okay how would you say it then i need and to yogurt. drink i need to drink some yogurt okay a little flower. Yeah. Repeat flower. 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 Flowers. Yeah, teacher, like the flowers in the garden. Yes, flowers. If all this time you have been saying flower, fla flower, flower. No, no, no. Flower. Okay. Meat. Meat. Can you say I want a meat? No. No. How do you a say it? Oh, meat. A piece. A piece of meat. A piece of meat. A pound of meat. Very good. Cheese. cheese. I want a cheese. A, cheese. a piece of cheese. A pound of cheese. 
butter, rice, salt, salt, salt. Salt. There you go. Salt. Sugar. 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 Yes, please. Okay. Bread. Bread. Can I say in English, I want a bread? No. No, in English, no. A piece. A piece of bread, a loaf of bread. L-O-A-F, a loaf of bread. And that's what you have in the picture, a loaf of bread. Okay. Mm -hmm. Liquids. All of these are uncountables. Okay. Liquids. Okay, a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, a cup of oil, a barrel, a barrel of petrol, okay, a gallon of petrol, water, repeat, water, 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 water. 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 yeah, water. don't say water, don't say water, say water. Okay, water. 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 Sounds, sounds water. better. Alcohol. 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 There you go. Alcohol. 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 Milk. 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 Kefir, okay. etc. <laughs> Thank you. Kefir, I don't know what is kefir. Okay, so liquids. Materials. Can you say, Materials. I need a wood? No. Can you say, I need some wood? Yes. I have some wood, I need some wood. Okay, plastic. Uh Sure. Yes. Kefir, kefir is like a yogurt. Uh, oh, it's a it's... Bulgaro, Bulgarian yogurt. Oh, everybody. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> so if you ever go to Bulgari, to Bulgaria, okay. Good. Thank you, Fernando. Silver. Silver. Gold. Glass. Crystal. China. I think China, You're. they're trying to say here, um, how do you call this? Ceramic. Ceramic, right? We're talking about materials. I okay. want a china. No, I have some china. I have some uh, ceramic plates. Okay, concrete. Repeat, concrete. 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 Don't say concrete. Concrete. Uh, concrete. 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 Okay. Now, this is very important abstract nouns. What are abstract nouns? These are just ideas, things that you cannot touch. You cannot Wisdom. touch abstract nouns. Love. Let's go one by one. Knowledge. 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 Oh, knowledge. Wisdom. 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 There you wisdom. go. No, uh, wisdom. 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 Okay. Wisdom. Love. 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 Hey, justice. 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 Freedom. Justice. Freedom. 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 Confidence. 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 Belief. 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 What is belief? Do you do you defend? Do you defend and protect your beliefs? Yeah, of course. Yes, of course. Yeah. Your beliefs, creences, right? Okay. Others. You have other types of uncountables untangibles, uh, figures, let's say, research, luggage. luggage. What is luggage? Like a suitcase. 
Uh, in general, equipaje, luggage. Yeah. Baggage, Alexander, baggage is, what did you say? Suitcase. A suitcase, things like that, right? The baggage is a, some sort of luggage. Hair, Hair. weather, yeah. weather. Behavior. Behavior, good. Advice, advice. You cannot yeah. count advice. Uh, let me give you an advice. Yes, it's a figure. Let me give you an advice. This is my advice to you. Okay. News. 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 On the news. Some, news. some news are fake. Many news are fake. That's possible. Fun. Be careful, stop saying that's a fun. Mm -mm. Okay, it's a funny story, yes, but it's it's fun. That's it. It is fun. It's fun. Accommodation. Accommodation. Yeah. Information, equipment, rubbish. What is rubbish? Basura. Uh-huh. It's like the rest, uh, small pieces of, of garbage. Furniture, one furniture, two furnitures. No, 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 no. Okay, you cannot do that. Crockery, what is crockery? I, oh, man, I forgot crockery, crockery, crockery. <clears throat> bahia, thank you. <laughs> hey, bahia, crockery. Cutlery, cutlery is similar to bahia, okay, but this is with tenedores, cuchares, and all that, right? Cutlery, cutlery. Money, so cutlery is like utensils, it's a synonym. Money, money, please stop saying money, money, no, money, money. Money. Jewelry, jewelry. Jewelry. Joyería, jewelry. Jewelry. Uh -huh. Machinery and so on. Okay, now there's an exception for this rule, and it's when you're ordering something. When you order something, you can use uh, countables. We will see that. When, when we can use a, and, one, two, etc., with nouns such as coffee, tea, beverages. When we order, when you're at a restaurant, you can say, we'll have two coffees, please. Can you give me more examples? When you go to a restaurant, how do you order uncountables? Can I have a piece of cake? A piece of cake, but that's countable. I mean, you're using you're using measurements. Mm -hmm. mm, three Follow? sodas. We will have, right? We'll have three sodas. Two glasses of water. Two glasses of water. Be careful with pluralizing, yeah. Two glasses, two water glasses. What about rice? Suleyma, what about rice? Um, um, maybe orders, two orders of rice. That's an option. We'll have two orders of rice. Okay, we'll have two rice with meat and potatoes, okay? That's the plate, that's the plate, okay. Got it? Or maybe rice with chicken, two rice with chicken. Uh-huh, hey, I will have uh, rice with chicken, uh, rice with chicken, a plate. It's on the context, okay. So, specific amount of uncountables, and this is what matters to us to that tonight to refer to a specific amount of uncountables. Take a screenshot if you want, this is very important. These are not um, quantifiers, okay? And these are measurements, measurements. You can use a piece, a glass, a bottle, a jar, a packet, a loaf or slice, of bread, a pot. What is a pot, somebody? What is a pot of honey? What's a pot? Like, um, 
Como un tarro. Es olla. Ajá, like olla. olla. Tarro. Tarro, ajá. Yeah. A cup, a kilo, a bar, a tube. A tube. Be careful, a tube. A tube of toothpaste. It's difficult. A tube of toothpaste. A tube of toothpaste. A can. A can of soda. A carton. A carton of milk. A carton of eggs. A bowl. Bowl of sugar. A bowl of sugar. A bit of cheese. A bit of cheese. Okay. A drop of water. A lump of sugar. What is a lump? Uh huh. A lump of sugar. I think that's like a sack. <clears throat> Mr. Google. <laughs> <laughs> Fernando. Uh, a bowl of, of sugar. A bowl a of sugar? A lump. 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 Saco. Hey, I think you have a lump on your back. You have a lump no, on your back. Lump. Lump. A lump. Uh huh. Very good. A pile of rubbish, wood, etc. Some of the nouns above can be used with plural countable nouns. A kilo of lemons, of lemons. A bowl of berries, etc. Okay, this is very useful. I, I'll send you the link of this presentation that is not mine. It's not mine, but I'm using it. It's very interesting. Now, be careful. Some nouns have different meanings. I guess you do know that at this point. I like a glass of orange juice, please. He took off his glasses and enjoyed the sun. Glass is different than glasses, okay? A glass is a cup, let's say, with made of glass. The glasses is what Rene is wearing. I enjoy reading Sunday paper. Could you give me a few pieces of paper? Different context. The first one, what is it? Newspaper, right? And the second one is regular paper. Okay. I found the most beautiful iron chair ever. Is this iron hot yet? The first one, iron chair. The chair is made of iron and the second one is the device with which you iron your clothes. So just make sure, make sense, okay, that's simple. Now, this is what we have to talk about. This is on your book, okay, quantifiers. A couple of. What page, teacher? Uh, let me get it here. This is page 15. How to use quantifiers. How to use quantifiers, page 15. A couple of, several. Now with, oh, yeah. yep, what, Johnny, yeah. No, okay. With few, you can use a few or few. Many, okay, a good, a large, a great number of both, okay, plus a countable noun. You can use countables with all of these quantifiers. For uncountable nouns, you can use too much, okay, too or too much, a little or just little, a great or a good deal of, a small, a large amount or quantity of uncountable. So for example, that's too much water. That's too much water. That's much water, okay? That's a little money. That's a little money. That's little money. Sounds better. That's little money. That's little money. That's a great deal of money. That's a good deal of money. Your salary, that's a good deal of money, okay? That's a small, a small quantity of money. That's a large amount. That's a large quantity of money. Got it? 
Now, there's an exception to this, an exception. A lot of, lots of, any, okay, hardly ever used. Some, no, and plenty of, you can use them with both, with countable and uncountable nouns. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Follow the examples on your book and you will find more sense to this. So these objects are singular and plural sometimes. School objects, sports, games, illness. They only have a singular form. They only have a singular form economics, maths, gymnastics, athletics, games, uh, you have billiards, darts. It's just a matter of studying each subject. When we talk about an amount of money, weight or a period of, a period of time, distance, etc., 3,000 miles, you cannot say 3,000 mile, a mile maybe, uh -huh, is the distance from here to that country. Oh, and be careful with the group nouns, such as jury, family, press, government, company, crowd, class, audience, army, and so on. What if I tell you that you can use people or everyone, what verb to be would you use with people? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Yes. You sure? Yes. Yeah. Hey, what do you say? Sorry, teacher, I couldn't hear. What form of the verb to be would you use with people? With people. Would you say people is or people are? Who they? People are, people are. People are. Fernando mm -hmm. says people is. Luis, what do you think, Luis Ernesto? Hola. I think it's is teacher, people is. People is, okay, let me tell you. People is, formal, formal. People are, regular way. Grammatically correct, people are. Don't believe me, don't trust me. Go to CNN, go watch the news on CNN in English and you will hear them saying, oh, people is standing in front of the building in flames. Okay, people are standing in front of a building in flames, okay? A group of people was, a group of people was standing in the building in flames. Was, not where? Curious, curious thing. Okay, clothes, people, police, stairs, earrings and so on plural forms her earrings her earnings i'm sorry are quite high her earnings are quite high earnings nouns which refer to objects which consist of two parts very interesting trousers what are trousers someone in spanish no give me the synonym Gold, piece of gold. No, trousers. Uh, pants. Uh, trousers. Uh. Your pants, your trousers. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they are in pair, right? You cannot say, give me a, a trouser. No, I need trousers. I need trousers. Be careful with yeah. that because it's very common. I need a short. I need a short, I need shorts. Ha ha. Mi vida ha sido una mentira hasta ahora, right. I need a shorts, no, I need shorts. I have a shoes. Hmm. I have shoes, I have shoes. One of your shoes is on the living room. One of your shoes is on the living room. That's different, that's different. Gloves, pajama, pajamas, tights. I can't remember what is tights, tights, tights. I think it's cacheteros or something like that, tights. Can't remember. Socks, earrings, and scissors. 
and so on. Okay. So, can you make some examples? And that's basically what your book talks about. Non-count nouns and count nouns. So, just exception, a little time, a few hours, it's different, right? So, a little non-count, a little water, continue. More examples, please, a little. A lot of money. A little money, a lot of money, okay. Continue, everybody, come on. Some food. Some food. Mm -hmm. Much time. Much time. A great deal of time. That's uh, plenty of time. We have plenty of time. We have no time. We have no time. Okay. Any questions with this topic, guys. Okay, if you don't, I'll split you so you can just resolve this exercise in five minutes or less. And before we go there, believe it or not, it's 9.02 p.m. Oh my God. Really quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Ada Susena Caceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. He's not here today. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present teacher. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present teacher. Yes. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. Present, teacher. Good. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Suleima Ivonne Moreno Hernández. Present. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanes. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Oh, good. Ivan Manuel Jerez Perez. Present, teacher. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Hey, uh, welcome, Irwin. Thank you. <clears throat> Presentation, sorry. I was concerned because you're staying tonight for 10 minutes. Okay, yes, teacher, after sorry. the class. Okay. Awesome. Okay, oh, guys. Today, teacher, today. Yeah. Today, just 10 minutes. So we can have a short conversation to identify areas of improvement, which is what I'm doing. Uh, okay. Quiero recordarles antes de moverme, eh, por favor, conéctense a la hora. No pueden perder minutos en venir tarde. Eso al final les va a sumar negativamente. Ok. Look at this. Tell me, what are the three mistakes related to the use of quantifiers in this statement? I think I had this on the presentation. I can remember. Give me one second. I didn't have it. Okay. So let's do it together. Let's see who finds the first mistake. Must. Where? Uh, can't tell. Number two? Jenny, 
Come on. Number, Number one. one. Okay. Much customers. Much, Much customers. So that's incorrect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What should be the right way? Some. Mm -hmm. So many. Many. <laughs> many. Why? Countable. It's countable. Okay. You got it. Attract many customers. You got the first one. What's the second mistake? Some. What number? Okay, what's the next modification? Next mistake. We have one, then there are three. And number three. Mm -hmm. I really did love modifications. Modifications. Yes. Um, okay. Before sales decline, it is essential that we implement a great deal of modifications. So mm -hmm. what should be the right way? Uh, maybe a lot of modifications. You got it. Try it, Stein. Very good. A lot of. Just look at the chart. Look at the chart. It says a great deal of goes with non count nouns. Okay, a lot of plural. Very good. One more. We're missing one. Number five. Instead mm -hmm. of little, I think that it could be a lot of competitors. A lot of competitors, a little, okay. Uh, what, what about a few? Okay, a few. Okay, a few competitors have established. Very good. There you go. Simple, simple. Do you have any questions with this topic, guys? Okay, so let's build some vocabulary before we move on to the next topic. Um, so, obsolescence, let's do this together. Let's do this together. So, obsolescence, what's the definition of each one? No work. Finish the video. Obsolete. <laughs> Obsolete. Okay, what's the definition on the right? Read the definition on the right. Someone, come on. The presence of innovative products or services cause customers to change their taste and preference. Taste this. Mm -hmm. I think that it could be number Decline. two. Read it. Op option number two. Yeah. Okay, what is it then? Okay, yes, guys. Number one. I think that is the second one. You got it. Yes, number one. A significant decline in the competitiveness or value of a product, usually because a more innovative or a cheaper one is available. So your product becomes obsolete. Okay, there's a solicence of solicence of solicence. I'm sorry, on your product of solicence. Demand downturn. Demand downturn. 
a reduction of customer You got it. Yes, that's number two. A reduction of customers' interest in buying a product or service. Can somebody explain to me really quick why do we have a, an apostrophe at the end of this word? Possessive. Possessive, and why don't I have another S? Because N and S. Yeah. Yeah, it ends on S. Repeat, it ends on S. It ends on S. It ends on S. It ends on S. Okay, what's number three? Changes in customers' customer preference. The okay. preference. The preference of, of innovative product innovative. service. Okay, yeah, I agree with you. And number four will be this one. Okay, four, global competition, international competing companies may offer better products at cheaper prices and with better distribution, which might cause the decline of locally manufactured products. Okay, good job. Okay, continuing building vocabulary. Uh, and this is our stage right now. The following are strategies to handle the decline stage of a product. So we need to find out more information about each of them. Yesterday, I shared with you some strategies to avoid, to prevent the decline stage of a product. Now we have an excerpt as well. Let me see if we will have this as part of our conversation today. Look at the lesson plan really quick. Yep, page 16. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so let's go with page 16. Let's find the definitions. One, two, three, four, five. We have five definitions, so this will be easy for you. I have five groups on what's uh, here on Zoom, okay? So the first group, first group, number one, Ada, Alexander, Heidi, Yuri, and Suleima. Please define lower prices. I repeat, Ada, Alexander, Heidi, Yuri, and Suleima define lower prices. Group number two, Alan, Andres, Ivan, Manuel, Werner, Mauricio, and William Alexander, define repackaging, repackaging. Group number three, Fernando, Isela, Johnny, Juan Francisco, Sandra, Elizabeth, define discontinuation, discontinuation. Group number four, Carolina, I'm sorry, Caroline. Caroline, Irene, Jose Antonio, Carla. Jose Alberto, and Rene Alfonso. Define innovation. And the last group, Elvin, Irwin, Luis Ernesto, and Roberto. Define co-branding. That's your task right now. You got it? Now, you have to define these words based on the topic. These are strategies to avoid the decline stage, to handle the decline stage of a product. Keep that in mind, okay? What you have to do to avoid the decline stage, okay? Let's do it. Find a definition together. You have to come up with a little exposition really quick. Let's go. To do low price. Low price. Low price. 
price. I get that we are going to define low price to avoid the clients stop buying our product. Right, teacher? Okay. Okay, uh, so your, your group number one, you have to define how the strategy of lowering, lowering the prices will be applied to avoid or to handle the decline stage of a product. What is what does it mean, you know, lowering the prices to the to handle the decline stage? Okay, I think to avoid the decline stage, lower prices is a good strategy because you make the product more attractive to the customers and prefer your product to another that have a higher price, for example. Higher. High, higher, higher price. Mm -hmm. And you can move your your inventory of it. For example, if you have a lot of inventory of your product, uh, you can move your inventory. One of the strategy can be add other product as your product. For example, when you buy a, when you buy a, a yogurt, they give us, they give us another one. You are, that is a strategy to down the price. To lower the price. Yeah. To lower the price. Oh, maybe, for example, the strategy, I don't know if you see in, in the shoe stores, you buy one and the second is when the 25% of discount and the third one is with 50% of discount. But in this context, teacher, like let's know, we are going to figure out how to avoid to get to low prices, low prices, or no. These are right. Are, these are strategies. So one of the strategies to deal with or to handle the decline stage is lower the prices. Remember, the decline stage is like nobody wants your product. You're already satisfied. You're already satis saturated the market with your product. And now it is your turn to, um, to do something to save your product sales, to save the sales. Um, okay. Perdón, voy, perdón, chicos, voy a hacer algo indebido. Eh, Ada, eh, fíjese que tengo una, cada vez que toso, siento que el abdomen en la parte inferior izquierda se me rompe. Así como uh -huh. que si fueron, fue a pasar consulta y me dejaron un montón de medicamentos, pero no. No ha mejorado. O sea, medio, hicieron... se fijaron que dice. Y desde ayer observé que está con tos. Desde el lunes, ajá, sí, ya, ya tengo gramma tos. For that, pero eventualmente se va a quitar, esa es mi pregunta, solo eso le quería preguntar, perdón que le este, quité tiempo. Este, ¿Le tomaron placa? No, 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 no. Yo, solo tacto, solo tacto, no en la clínica, en la clínica empresarial. Empresarial. Uh -huh. Bueno, el doctor, muy bueno. Pero, eh, eh, solo es tos. Solo es la tos, o sea, me dijo que era el, el tejido se había. El diafragma. Ajá, no, el tejido del abdomen abajo, o sea, como que tosí muy sí, fuerte. Es, la, es el diafragma que divide el tórax del abdomen, pero por toser no va a quedar doliendo ningún no. costado. ¿Y el no. dolor no se refiere a otro lado? Ajá, es abajo del estómago, ¿verdad? ¿no? Anyway. ¿Y, ¿Y no se va hacia atrás? No, solo es ahí. Entonces, como so, como ¿sí? si fuera una hernia chiquita. No, pero ahí habría que tomar una placa porque hay tos. Uh -huh. Y por toser no, no se va, no va a doler a tan bajo. ¿no? Uh -huh. Hay que descartar algo, otra cosita. ¿Y qué más le dejo solo que ese árabe? Varias cosas. Ya le escribo, perdón que les quite okay. el tiempo. Creo que no es bueno. Ok, I'm sorry. I'll text you later. Okay, keep going. I'm teacher, sorry. Teacher, uh, the lower, how is it? 
lower prices? The lower, lower, lower price. prices depend the the um, depend the, the factors that in relation the demand and the offer the product, no? Yes, they are it's tied a, it, it, together. But at this point, there's no more demand of your product. When you reach <clears throat> the growth, the growth of your product, you reach this high. So mm -hmm. then you go down and you are on the decline stage. Mm -hmm. You have loyal customers buying your product. They love your product, but mm -hmm. you cannot go up. You cannot go up. So how do you sell more? You have to lower the prices to sell more products. Okay. That's what you have to explain to the class. Okay? Okay. Okay, good job. Keep it up. Yeah. All the other strategy can be... El recording. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, group number two. Repackaging. Repackaging is the, we were talking about that is the, the way that the companies change the image, the design. It's not a, like you are going to change your 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 product in the the main of, of the product is not that change your receipt, for example, or your component. It's just the image not like uh, I'm going to uh, add something else something something to the, the label yeah yes it's just image no no just if we, we try to understand why because uh, we have to innovate we, if you trying to get the same image at the beginning of your, your process uh, you look all all this in, it's not a good idea to sell your product you need to get in remember that at this point you reach the level of saturation everybody has your product you cannot go up on the prices and every and you only have loyal customers let's say people who likes your product so how do you increase the sales the sales volume maybe marketing a strategy changing the packaging making it more appealing, making it more appealing for the customers. The, the typical phrase that the company says is same quality, new image. Right, that's a marketing strategy. Okay, that's what you have to explain to your class. Keep going. Okay. Um. Do you, do you mean that sometimes due to the strategy, sometimes the company can can decide to discontinue a product that maybe is not being is not having a good impact in the with the with the consumers, and they prefer to continue with another product that are generating um, a great incomes. Right. A great incomes. Incomes. Great, Ingresses, great incomes. Know. Great incomes. Great, great. Um, yeah, no says el artículo. So, a product that is generating great incomes. Oh, the the the. Yeah, you said the, a product the, that is generating the, a great income. So it's generating great incomes. Great incomes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. Teachers, today, today I have I have to to dismiss uh, an agent. So it was it, it was my my first time. Doing what? Training someone? No, no, no. To dismiss dismissal, dismissal, or dismissal. You had to let go someone. Yeah. Wow, how was it? I feel, I felt 
bad at, at that moment because we were working together in the same um, in yeah. the same team before. Yeah. I have a question for you. How long did it take you to fire this person? Um, to be honest, it takes a long time. Why? He, he he already he already had had a follow up with a with another team manager, mm. but but um, as you know, sometimes due to the the attrition and something like that. Uh, sometime they need to to wait to dismiss uh, an agent. So the the time to dismiss him came today. So I have I had to proceed, and I thought that that maybe the the person who who would how I can say que iba. that I was that was going to what. The person that that what's going um, to dismiss to to fire him that was, that, that was going to dismiss mm -hmm. him him didn't um, show up. No, no, she she moved to to another LOB. Oh, so he was part of of my team, so I have to I had to do it. I mean, it was my, my first did you time. did you walk him to the door? Yeah. Oh. And he was trying like he was like a uh, kind of upset and he said I don't know what I'm going to do. And I I only said I I only and told, told him, him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that we provide um many um option to to improve but he didn't take advantage of of some situations. Mm, don't go to the past. Move forward. I recommend you to yeah. watch watch a movie. Up in the airs. George Clooney. Open. George Clooney. Up in the airs. Up in the airs. Up in the airs. Up in the airs. I think that was the name. Hold on. Yeah, uh, that will train you on what to say after letting go someone how to how to win rebuttals como ganar los rebuttals que te hacen los empleados cuando los has despedido i think that's the name hold on i, I didn't know anything about that process I'm sorry. because up it was in, my first time. up in the air singular up in the air up in the air yeah up in the air It's a great movie, but that's his job. Él trabaja para una compañía que va de estado en estado volando, despidiendo personal masivamente. Él se sienta y tiene, hasta se toma el tiempo a veces, de cuánto tiempo se tardó por cada empleado despedido. So, look it up. Google it. Apply it. Aplicala a tu persona y, y aprende de eso, de convertirte en alguien más y decir lo que tenés que decir, hacer las cosas cortas para no sentir lo que sentís. Acuérdate que trabajas para la empresa, es tu empresa. Okay, so you can do it. You can do it. It's not, it's not rocket science. Yeah. Relax. You. It's your job. It's part of your responsibilities, Okay? Yeah, I will. Good job. Okay. Keep it up, guys. We're almost done. Hey, innovation as a strategy to avoid or to work with the decline stage. Find a better way to present your product. Develop we, your product. We, we were talking about uh, discontinuation. Why? It's Oh yeah, sorry, discontinuation, right? Discontinuation. <laughs> because it was our topic. <laughs> Man, discontinuation, removing the product, right? Yeah. Yes. It could be, there are many um, meanings or. Yeah, but in this yeah. context, that's definitely it. Stop manufacturing, just take it off the market. Okay. Let me check the other two groups and we will go back. Uh, 
And about cell phones too. You are, you are looking for the images. Yes. Okay. I did. <clears throat> okay, innovation, innovation to deal with, with the decline stage. Uh, is uh, diversification and innovation. Yeah. Okay. So what do you do to, to handle the decline stage innovating? What do you have to do with your product? Um, create value for that customer to now create more products or service without uh, a add, uh, a value for that. Adding value to your product? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Developing your product. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, you got the idea. We're almost done. Okay. I understand. I, I understand. Okay. Okay. Co-branding. Co-branding to handle the decline stage. Teacher. Uh huh. How, how are you, teacher? I'm doing awesome. Sorry, sorry I am late today. I was at my work. I I thought so. Yeah, sorry. I had a the, with the count count account professional in my country. With the account, the accountant? The accountant, yes, I had to pay the uh, tax. Okay. Oh. Sorry. <clears throat> I have one question for you. Mm -hmm. When you have a brand, I will speak with Spanish and English. We have a brand, brand is like a marker. Okay? Oh, perfect. Branding is the action in your brand. Mm -hmm. Okay. In Spanish, you can say, I want to be my brand better. This is a branding. Yeah. Is it with the high performance? I, I will make a branding. Yeah. Yes. The branding of a product. That's right. Yes. For example, if I have a good personal, I, I, I make to branding. Yeah. You got it, yeah. but in this context, co-branding. Okay, and co-branding is like, I have one company with other company. I want to have other product will be the better than our product. And I alliance with the other company and I will have a other product with the same market. You create an alliance, an alliance with yeah. your- Yes, right. alliance, yes. So it's like yeah. if you, you were selling American batteries, LHT, LTH, LTH batteries, yes. LTH, LTH batteries and American batteries. And, but you don't sell American batteries, just LTH. And you go to another company and, hey, let's co-brand. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna sell your batteries, you sell mines. What do you think? Uh, American battery is a is a market in El Salvador. American it's a brand. Battery. It's a brand in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and LTH is a mark. It's a brand from Mexico. Right. So my point but, is, but, you... but 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 never work together. Because... I know. I know. I'm just giving yeah. you an idea. I'm just giving an oh, idea. Okay, so okay, you okay, you okay. get you have two brands, two brands, and people I, can. I, I will, get a discount. You, I will say you one other, other example. I have a, 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 my, a, a factory and I produce oil, okay? But, hey, I call you with the LTH battery, okay? Hey, I want to say, I want to sell a new product. Which one? Uh, oil with your name, LTH. This is a co-branding. Got it. 
Okay? You got it. That's yeah. it. Perfect. Just say that and that's it. Let's go back. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Ada, Alexander, Yuri, and Suleima. Please explain to the class briefly, don't worry, uh, just briefly, what did you understand about lower prices to handle the decline stage? And the... The lower prices is um, the, in my case, is the offering product and we love the prices. It's an optimal strategy for the products that are in, are the common, the common, and that are the, they are in very competitive, the market. And it is a way you will, will obtain the obtain an economic advantage and can therefore sell in the grid 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 greater quality greater teacher greater 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 quality mm -hmm. right. and that's it you will obtain an advantage on your competitors right to continue selling. Maybe I have to put this in context for all the five topics. Remember, I repeat, you at this point, before you reach the decline stage, you already saturated the market. So look, lowest saturated, oversaturated. So you're in this part, if you already saturated the market with your product and everybody's get got your product, they love it. You have loyal customers, but you cannot increase your price. Okay. It's impossible. If you do it, you lose your customers, you lose your product totally. So what do you do? Okay. Let's lower the price to increase the sales. Profit. Got it? Got it. Good job. Yeah, it's a measure to ensure your profit. Yeah, it's a, what do you mean measure? You mean um, a technique um, and a strategy. Uh-huh, that's right. Very good. Okay. Sule, do you want to add something, Yuri? Uh, I, I think it's complete the definition that Ada said. Yeah. Uh, lower prices are good strategy uh, how you say to uh, get uh, more uh, profit of your product and you get more uh, more money yeah which is the main goal right to sell more yeah good we'll think about it we will think at the end what's the best option to deal with uh, to deal with the decline stage thank you uh, second Group, second team, Alan, Andres, Ivan, Werner, and William. Repackage. Repacking. Repackaging. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, it's defined as to change the wrapping of something to make it more attractive. Um, an example, uh, some drinks in the season of Christmas changed uh, uh, <clears throat> the plastic wrapper of the the bottles to according the the season, no? According to uh, the season, to the season. Mm -hmm. Like um, Coca Cola, but but sample changed the 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 image of. Uh, bottles 
in this special season like Christmas. This is for us a uh, repatch. Mm -hmm. Excellent. The teacher and the others and, and the others um, uh, examples of the packaging on glass water borders. Yeah, our crystal, uh, what they do is uh, sanitize the bottle after the new security cell with uh, it is experience. They use a uh, uh, re reusable, como se dice? Re reusable. Reusable, yes. Mm -hmm. the, the, I'm sorry, uh, hold on, repackaging. But you went through la tangente um, because Remember, I mean, they do use recycled bottles, reusable bottles, um, refillable, refillable bottle, water bottles, but they are not on a decline stage. We're talking about when you repackage your product, as Ivan said, you know, you change the appearance of your product instead of, oh, instead of lowering your price, you change the the, uh, the packaging to make it more attractive for consumers. Yeah. Right, Alan? <laughs> okay, um, just for add something to the presentation. Uh, through the time, uh, you know that we have to, or the company in this case, have to get uh, innovations uh, or their, their image, change the labels, change the bottles, everything to be more attractive. And for the customer appealing, increase and try to get uh, those attention to sell and stay in the market instead to get uh, all this on the uh, people think that it's going to be down because it's the same thing and your customer says is is boring, it's old, and they try to oh, picture this if, if the, the companies get the same image that uh, 30 years ago, uh, you know that it's going to be old, it seems like hey, hey, wait, wait. Uh, I will disagree with you on that part because <laughs> let, me, no. let, me, let, me, let, me, let me break your mind right now. Okay. I want you to picture this. Okay. Think. Sorritone. <laughs> Lido. Lido. It's a brand that you know here in El Salvador because it's a tradition. <laughs> it's not like a, hey, it's a, wow. If you yeah, say, they, you, compare they, Bimbo, yeah. you compare Lido with Bimbo, uh -huh. worldwide is going to be, hey, Bimbo is worldwide, right? Lido is like a, uh, it's a special. It's a local, thing. it's a local product? Yeah. For me, it's not uh, it's not like a bit, uh, I don't know. There's no way to compare it. There's no way to I compare know. it. I think there is no way to compare that because if you're trying to innovate, you have to get more attractive. Uh, you know, that, that, that's a great topic. Do you think that packaging image could be a strategy oh. of a product to compete in the local market. In other words, the packaging of Bimbo, is it the same in Mexico? Bimbo no. is Mexican, it's a Mexican, yeah, it's Mexican company, right? It's a Mexican company. The, the packaging is different in Mexico. Oh yeah. What about Maricela? Mm. I don't, yeah, you know, I have seen TV ads, comerciales TV ads on cable of Maricela but they are just for Colombia and Mexico, I think. But here in El Salvador, you don't see no. commercials of Marisela. Because right. it's focusing one uh, in, a, in, a, in a, a specific area, right? It's not just for, a, but in, uh, for example, the essence of the product doesn't change. Right. The, the image that there is on, the people say that the same quality is different, uh, a great image or- Yeah, you, you said there's a saying of companies, right? What is it? Same, yes. same quality, mm -hmm. a new image. 
New image. Same that quality. New image. For us is the main idea. That's the slogan, guys. That's a slogan. Do you understand slogan, everybody? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. That's the slogan yes. they use on to change the image. Okay, great job. Okay, and there's a lot involved on this repackaging thing. Uh, for example, changing to recyclable or, or how do you say this? Um, degradable, degradable packaging, for example. We, we have a, a difficult to understand how can say uh, the environment is like friendly with the environment, something like that. But that's uh, degradable packaging, degradable packaging. That's becoming friendly with the environment. That's an, a strategy in the end. It's good. It's the most positive marketing campaign you can have for your product. But yeah, and that's a different topic. Okay, let's go with number four. Thank you, guys. That was great. Number three, Fernando, Isela, Johnny, Juan, and Sandra. Okay, this continuation is when a, a, a company take it off the, the product from the market. Uh, sometimes they they use that as a strategies. For example, for when they uh, take off a product from the market, they can uh, make a strongest another product that they fabricate and produce. Produce. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the way to, to choose a product, for example, for remote food on the market, maybe they, they choose a, the, the weakness product that when the sales are, are down or uh, poor, for, for, and they choose a product for remote from the market and stop fabricating. Producing. 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 Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, manufacturing. Yes. Manufacturing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. They they stop manufacturing. Yeah. As simple as that. I mean, that's when you give up, don't you think? That's giving up. That's giving uh, sometimes, up. Sometimes uh, it's because uh, a new product uh, will be released will be in the market or will be released in the market the same model, but. Uh, for new features and uh, with another know, name or they, uh, they add a suffix. Does they this are... ring, does this ring any bell guys? Can you give me an example guys, someone, someone, an example yes. of a product that Ni Nintendo. went through this? Nintendo. Yeah, technology, oh, right? Yes, Nintendo, they... Nintendo. Wii. I remember. Uh-huh. I remember. Um, Popeye's chocolate, I think. Yeah, do you we remember were, that? Yeah, we were talking about that. I really, I really love it. Yeah, yeah, me too, me too. Yeah, but no new product came to the market. No, I'm thinking about the what Fernando said. They stopped the, the complete um manufacturing. Uh -huh. They stopped the manufacturing, the production of a line of product because a similar one was coming. My God, uh, I don't know. I can Apple. think of iPhone. We're, we're going to talk about Apple today if there's chance. Okay, we got ESP. the idea. What ESP? You ESP? ESP the PlayStation. What? The PlayStation? PC. But PSP is no longer available. It's portable. Oh. Ah, Why? Portable. Oh, but that was the competitor mm. killed the PSP, you have the Wii U. Yeah. <laughs> That's the competition killing the PSP. Okay, good job. Uh, no, isn't mm -hmm. it the same? Nintendo? Uh, Nintendo Switch. Yeah, the Switch uh, that came. That is my more, more, more newbie. It's the newest. Yeah, got you. I got the upgrade, you. I think the upgrade of PSP is the PSP Vita. Uh-huh, there was a Vita version. Yes. So they mm -hmm. declined the regular PSP. Then you have the Vita. The Vita was a total fail. <laughs> and then they had the Wii U. Wii U is for Nintendo and PSP is for Sony. 
Aha, uh -huh. that's my point. So they, the Wii U killed the, P, the PSP Vita, and now Nintendo moved to the Switch. Ah, that's crazy. <laughs> okay, that's a great example. Okay, number four, Carolina, Irene, um, Jose Antonio, Jose Alberto, and Rene. You have the what stage? innovation. Okay, Caroline, Irene. Uh, okay. So we can share. I knew it. Yeah, right now. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Hey, be careful on the street, William. Oh. Be careful with the cars on the street. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, about innovation. Innovation uh, is a process that modifies existing elements, idea, or protocol protocols. So innovation is very important because, but you have to you have to know what the strategies to in, strategies to implement uh, in how to use it. For example, if I have a brand very recognized in the market, um, for uh, for example, it's my image or packaging is the the company ha, ha, it is to know must to know in what sense in what sense is going to improve. So. Obviously, without the losing the essence essence of the brand, uh, take, taking some elements, the culture um, uh, about the country. Um, there are many elements to take in, in consideration. In, you know, into account. Uh, into account. Okay. Awesome, Joe Caroline. So. Oh, my classmates. Mm -hmm. Irene, Jose Antonio, Jose Alberto, and Rene. Yeah, uh, innovation marketing uh, is a successful diversification strategy. Must focus on innovation to put demand that motivate, uh, must to create value for customers and not simple simply to create more products and services. Uh, An example. Come on, guys, everybody. Um, IBM, Apple. Yeah. I'm sorry, come mm -hmm. again, Rene? Uh, and some type company is not innovating by changing, uh, change the uh -huh. business model. Uh -huh. of for example, IBM, Apple, the front selling process, now computer. Oh, they moved from selling cell phones to selling computers okay. and vice versa. I got you, totally. But what about the, uh, what we said yesterday, this guy on the picture, um, the BlackBerry, right? The BlackBerry adopting an Android OS, an Android OS. I didn't know that. Fernando taught me that that the uh, BlackBerry still exists. I didn't know the BlackBerry still exists. I think that's the best example we can have of a decline stage. They have survived, what, over 20 years, right? On the decline. I mean, they are on decline since 20, I mean, since 2002, maybe. They have been on the decline stage and survived adapting to the new technologies. That That's crazy, don't you think? Okay, totally got your point. Great. Do you want to add something else? No. Okay, <laughs> let's go with the last group. Helping. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs>
Hey, nice presentation. How did you do it? Who did it? <laughs> Me. You? What program? PowerPoint. <laughs> PowerPoint? Yes. Hey, no me arregla. No, no um, avergonzar al teacher con una presentación mejor que la de él. Okay, please. Okay. Number five. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Number five. Sí, no, no, no merece. Uh, Elvin, uh, Irwin, dice <laughs> Roberto. Okay, I'm talking about co-branding. Uh, co-branding is a term used to define, define a strategic uh, and temporary alliance between two or more companies in order to increase uh, their properly and improve uh, their positioning tends to power and brand value. Uh, the different uh, the different company uh, when do uh, projection and, and see uh, the clean uh, use this strategic because uh, two different two different company um, use uh, for the uh, union for the for the uh, for the incre increase the profit when the, the co two company use that uh, uh, different marketing uh, uh, the light uh, when you co-branding use uh, the the customer is attractive for different um, different um, characteristic characteristic for the for the product for example um, I don't know. I don't know. You remember Lego, Nintendo? Mm -hmm. uh, the the company use uh, uh, Lego. Uh, there, the is a company uh, give uh, different toys, and different uh, these toys uh, identify uh, the different place uh, use uh, the brand Nintendo, but. Uh, the strategic uh, for Lego, there are the, there are different uh, customer like uh, video game uh, introduced for the, for the Lego. This is co-branded. It's a uh, it's a it's a strategy used uh, when the company seed is uh, declared declared in the market. Excellent. Yes, they co-branded Lego and um, Nintendo. I think you said yeah. Nintendo, so yeah. they they got they broaden they broaden their market. Okay, we're gonna continue yeah. continue with you guys tomorrow. Is to have an idea that was amazing. Thank you guys for explaining this to the class. Everybody, we have to close. It's ten o'clock. So let me do the attendance, and you can go disconnecting one by one. I'm staying with Erwin tonight for ten minutes. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good night, Alexander de Jesus mm -hmm. Sanchez Soto. Present. Thank you, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present, good night. Good night, Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Okay, stay there. <laughs> Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you. Good night. Good night, Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. She left. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Presenting. Chair. Good night, everybody. Good night. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Juan Francisco Enriquez Gonzalez. Present. Teacher. Good night. Good night. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present. Teacher. Good night. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Teacher. Good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present teacher. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present, see you. See you, Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present, good night. 
Good night, Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanes. Present, teacher. Good night. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present, good night. Good night, Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher, good night. Good night, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. Good night, and Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Good night, guys. Uh, teacher, I'm Josue Salas, and I, I can hear my name. Yep, I got you. Okay, good night. Good night. Hello, Hello, Erwin. So, Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Thanks for asking. What about you? Well, fine. I am here with life. This is a fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the life is a fantastic. Yeah, it's fantastic. Actually, we are alive. That's a blessing. It's uh, you're, we're very lucky to be alive nowadays, right? So you are a, you are a good teacher. You what? You are a good teacher. Oh, come on, don't say that. Thank you. I do my best. I try, I try. And everybody should work this way, you know, try to do the best you can in everything that you do, just as you did with your business, right? My business. Yeah, well, the, at the beginning, I guess it was difficult, you know, but I loved what you say when you say that it was difficult at the beginning and then uh, it went up, it launched. Yes, in lunch. Okay. Uh, the, the, the business is, my business is uh, the war. Mm -hmm. The war. I, I am a Catholic man. Um, only the war is in my business. That's they awesome. give me the business, they give me the intelligence. This is the most important. Yes. But, Got it. But you, for me, for me, uh, you, you maybe you will have a business, maybe you will have a money, maybe you will have a, a wife, maybe you don't have a money, but if you are happy, it's the most important in life. Is it you the know, most? and to be is happy? It, yes, I am happy because I like the business, not for the money, I like the business. It's so different. You got it. You got yeah, it. So different. If I was to be a doctor, oops, I will be happy because I love, I, Maybe suppose imagine if, if I study for to be a doctor. If you are happy in your life, is it the most important in the in the life? In your life, that is correct. Okay, bien. Hey, good English. Tenemos que mejorar ciertas áreas como a uh, coherencia de enunciado. Así se llama coherencia de enunciado. ¿Qué es lo que estoy diciendo? Pero sin pausas. Lo vamos a ver en un segundo. Um, es nuestra primera sesión juntos. Siempre hago dos preguntas, Irwin. La primera, eh, ¿ya había estudiado inglés antes? ¿Cuál es mi historia con el inglés? En español, la primera sesión. Eh, y, y la segunda pregunta, eh, ¿qué estoy haciendo? Aparte de las dos horas de clase, ¿qué estoy haciendo para mejorar mi inglés? ¿O solo me quedo con las dos horas? Go ahead. ¿En inglés o en español? En español. <laughs> Esta es la primera sesión. Solo quiero saber esos dos detalles y luego nos movemos con inglés. Ajá. Mi histórico. Ya. Yeah. Bueno, teacher, es sencillo. Yo estudié inglés eh, en 1990. Saqué el grammar en el centro cultural. Entonces, eh, yo viajaba mucho en mi trabajo. Y como viajaba mucho en mi trabajo, lo practicaba. Después que me introduce, me puse a introducirme más en mi negocio, dejé de practicarlo totalmente. Mm. Al dejarlo de practicar totalmente, y como no fue constante, era un viaje que yo hacía que eran de, de oh. negocios, o de, de la parte deportiva, digámosle así. Eh, el inglés no era, no era tan fluido como debería de ser. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahora... Eh, he retomado otra vez estudiar inglés, me cuesta porque no es mi parte de desarrollo como ser humano, tengo mis debilidades yo soy bueno para las matemáticas, soy malo para el idioma español, para el idioma usted, usted no tengo esa materia, se llamaba idioma nacional ajá entonces, <risa> sí. nacional. Entonces, oh, oh my god entonces, eso es el reto 
Entonces, ¿quién es bueno en idioma nacional y muy bueno en inglés? A mí me cuesta, me cuesta uh -huh. bastante. Bueno, hasta hablar en español me cuesta. Me, uh -huh. me trabo. Yo solo vendiendo, soy, hablo bonito vendiendo, nada más. Uh -huh. Y ahí, por lo demás, yo me trago, no, no hablo tan fluido, o mucho menos en español, en inglés va a ser peor. Pero, eh, ¿por qué estudio el presente? Estudio por dos razones. La primera razón... Eh, yo importo baterías de China y en China eh, solo se habla inglés entonces eh, hasta ahorita he podido importar pero sí quiero perfeccionar Ajá. porque los importo directamente y necesito hablar muy bien los, les entiendo al, al asiático eh, lamentablemente el asiático no siempre me entiende por eso solamente los hemos escrito eh, y otra razón cuando yo viajo la última vez que fui a Estados Unidos, que fui a Houston hace dos años, fue fatal. Ahí sí me di cuenta que me había hecho oxidado totalmente. Fui a rentar un carro a Houston y en vez de ir al tercer nivel a recoger el carro, me fui al sótano. No le entendía al americano. Entonces, eso sí. eh, fue fatal para mí. Ahí me dije que estoy obsoleto. Vi la oportunidad con inglés corporación verifiqué cómo trabajaban ustedes y me pareció bastante uh -huh. tengo ciertas limitantes uh -huh. muchas limitantes bastante bastante profundas que no quiero solventar ¿a qué le estamos llamando limitantes? ¿a las áreas que nos falta mejorar? no, su servidor yo inglés uh -huh. corporativo es muy bueno no, 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 claro, dentro de Irwin ¿qué son las limitantes? o sea, porque limitantes le llamaría yo a a un problema del habla o, o el horario el horario no me da, no sé no, mi limitante es estudiar y practicarlo mm. entonces eh, hay una fórmula, yo sé la fórmula sencilla de cómo practicarlo y no lo estoy haciendo uh -huh. por ejemplo eh, yo sé que tengo que escuchar películas en inglés y no lo estoy haciendo con traducción y no uh -huh. lo estoy haciendo uh -huh. Pero, teacher, ¿sabe por qué no lo hago? Uh -huh. Imagínese por qué no lo hago. Um, falta de disciplina, Erwin. Erwin. No tengo televisor. Ah, ok. Pero, a le ver. Voy a, le voy a explicar. Pues. ¿El celular? ¿Wi-Fi? El celular, eh, cuando vengo cansado, duras penas veo el, tele, veo, veo el, tele, el televisor, el, el teléfono, a duras penas lo veo porque vengo uh -huh. cansado del negocio. Uh -huh. Entonces, no tengo televisión porque siempre pensé que no era necesario. Uh -huh. Interesante. Sí, hace ya como seis años que no tengo televisión. Ah, así, estoy yo. así estoy yo también. Yo, yo evito ver la tele desde hace siete años ya. Uh -huh. O sea, ¿de qué servía? Ya lo mismo en la tele todo el tiempo, no tiene sentido. So, get... eh, Ajá. Entonces, el tiempo pasó, no tengo televisión. Eh, entonces, yo en mi casa, que usted ve acá, eh, las, esta casa es una larga historia pero entonces estoy pensando en comprarme un televisor ni modo poner películas en inglés y español para entender con más facilidad y tratar de acoplarme claro, en mi trabajo, en mi negocio es bien complicado estudiar inglés porque cuando en mi caso personal que uno maneja su dinero eh, llega un cliente o el personal está trabajando su mente, su alma y su cuerpo no está en la silla está en el personal. Entonces, sí, es bien complicado para mí, es un esfuerzo que yo hago, no sé, no parece mucho, pero para mí sí es un esfuerzo grande. Si usted me dijera, Erwin, recibo una clase de mercadeo, pues, para mí eso es facilísimo. Si fuera un seminario de mercadeo, el que tuviéramos ahorita, por ejemplo, si estuviera en España, yo aquí en El Salvador, y yo estaría hablando de mercadeo, yo me voy a los penas. Pero sí tengo esa debilidad. Y como tengo esa debilidad, y yo me conozco esa debilidad, estoy haciendo el esfuerzo para aprender inglés. Ok. Uh -huh. es Ay, vamos a hacer una cosa. Eh, como yo siento que, ah, bueno, hay dos, dos cosas. A usted le gusta la música en inglés, me parece. ¿Cómo, eh, sabe, que, ¿cómo sabe que me gusta la música? Uh, la vez pasada que estábamos mencionando de ah. Journey, es todo eso, ¿no? Uh, el audio es como lo principal ahora no tengo tiempo soy un hombre muy trabajador okay. uh, hay una página que se llama Ron Chan 
ahorita le envío el link eh, por WhatsApp y por acá. Esto es un índice, ahí va a encontrar un índice donde puede elegir entre 250 audios. Son, son el, el primero que le he enviado son cuatro índices, cuatro index. Um, puede elegir cualquiera, no discrimine a este punto cuál de ellos. Luego va a salir otro index, otro índice. Puede elegir cualquiera de los cuatro de nuevo. Y de hecho, yo acabo de seleccionar uno que decía Everyday Life. Y luego aparece Calling Credit Card Company, Disputing a Charge como eh, disputar un cargo, ordering services, ordenando servicios, and making inquiries. Y hay 14, 22 secciones diferentes en esa área. Entonces, el punto es, usted puede abrir cualquiera de ellos. Ok. Y bueno, voy a dejar de grabar en este momento, pero vamos a cerrar acá y...